Good morning. This morning is Friday, the best day of the week. Today we are going to get going grouting this wall, new wall that we just put up. We got the cladding on. Today is the grout day. We got to install um, little small seashells, some big seashells, and also marbles in all of the grout joints. So that'll be interesting little art project today so waiting on jose and victor to get here i'm gonna go ahead and start unloading some stuff and let's get to it good morning senors no no not the fourth guy Oh, he's coming. He's got to do something else for first thing in the morning. Like I told you yesterday, he's doing the first pond job. Oh. He's got to just clean out this filter. This guy has a, the, his filter clogged. So you just got to go clean it out. Maybe take him 20 minutes. Oh, yeah? See ya. Most of them are real. There's only a couple fake ones. Like this one, this one show, fourteen dollar. Fourteen. So like this, how much? Like eight dollars? Maybe. I don't know. If you have a chance, I'm gonna put one in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, this, this wall is gonna be worth a lot of money with all this on it. These big pieces. Yeah. Made in the Philippines. That's where it says. You don't have no concrete in the truck, right? Yeah, I got one bag of concrete. You need it? We need to put it around here, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll get it. Freddy, I don't know if you can get Oh, <laughs> Freddy, get this. See? Sí. The two the the because you know the stripes and the flag, right? Yep. They mean uh the thirteen colonies. Yep. So where do you come from exactly? From Europe from uh, Germany. Oh yeah? Yeah, 50% German. And then uh, I got Irish in me, so Ireland, and uh, a lot of different stuff. Oh but, yeah? Yeah, most of it's mix. Germany. Yeah, a lot of mix, but most of it's Germany. 50%, 52% German. From your dad and your mom? My mom. <laughs> Yo, um, after you get done at that guy's house, I'm gonna have you stop at uh, a store on the way here to get some grout, some more grout. Get some grout, you said? Yeah, get more grout. I'm gonna text okay. you the information. Alright, Alright, peace.
So I'm trying to split up the shells. I'm doing a shell, marble, and then a shell. And sometimes I do marbles next to each other, but they definitely have to be different colors so that everything kind of just clashes. Um, the customer really wanted this wall to stand out. So she didn't want the shells all facing the same angle. She didn't want the same marbles next to each other. So kind of just all, every color under the rainbow you could imagine is going to be on the face of this wall. Uh, it is a museum, an art museum, so she wants it artsy. And after I place this little marble, I place the big shell, which I talked about in the last video. I had to leave these gaps so that I could fit these bigger seashells in these gaps and it actually came out nice all the gaps worked good The guy nice that you, that you went and did the thing for early. Uh, he really didn't get off his couch. His wife was me. Oh really? Yeah. Was it inside or outside? It was, dude. It's one of those places where they got like, dude, master bedroom, hallway, living room, and then in between it's like a like just a little in inside outside area. Like it's it's open. With right. the screen on the top. Right. The inside is just a little square. Yeah. A koi pond in there. Right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, It'd so be something like that. Yeah. She was like, honestly, I was kind of happy for a few nights not listening to that thing. Oh my gosh. Of course. I like, yeah, laugh. those fish are dying. I was like, yeah. Yeah. It was funny because when my, he called and uh, was on the phone yesterday when I was I stopped by my parents' house, he called and my mom was talking to him and she tells him that, okay, well, Ethan will be out there tomorrow um, to look at it and uh, fix, fix anything that he can fix. And uh, <clears throat> he was like, he was like, okay, and she was like, our minimum charge is $125, and then uh, if he has to buy parts or something like that, it'll go up from there, or depending on how long it takes him to fix it, it'll go up. Oh, she, oh that's a little steep, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. I didn't know where that came from. Uh oh, we, we need to make the butterfly. The butterfly. Like this or like this? Like this, for sure. Flip, the, flip it around. What? Oh, I would have had the hole be the other way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Butterfly. Oh, gotta be careful now. This is chromium. I want you to program it to do this, and I'm like, you can't do that. And she's like, why not? And I'm like, 
talk to the manufacturer. I don't know. You just can't. <laughs> it's just not possible. I thought you were a reprogrammer. She's like, I want the lights on for four hours, and then at four hours, I need them to dim down to 50%, and then at three or four and a half hours, they need to shut off. And I was like, uh, uh. That's not work. Because they give you a drop down menu. You have like 10, 20, 30, and then an hour, two hours, five hours, six. Nine, twelve. Yeah. So it's like you gotta pick one of those. I, yeah. I can't type in a time. Well that's just ridiculous. I don't understand. <laughs> well, that's just ridiculous. I mean these are simple components. So you, you should be able to control them. Alright, we'll take that up with the manufacturer, huh? Yeah, for real. Uh oh. The mountaintop. She had it, she brought it out. Uh, the one sand on? Yep. <laughs> it's only one of them. Really hey, nice. Is that somebody's hanky? Hanky. Oh, on the sidewalk? No. It's not ours. Maybe uh, slow down a little bit. So this is the first time that I ever attempted doing anything like this. Um, I would call it an arts and crafts project. I haven't done anything like this since middle school or elementary school. Uh, it wasn't the fastest thing in the world. I mean, I was placing these marbles not even an inch apart, very close. Um, the bottom section a different company did a long time ago and they were spaced a little bit farther apart like one inch apart and the customer said that they wanted them closer so I put them closer and the customer absolutely loved what we did she said that we had the artist eye uh, <laughs> never been told that before um, and it seems like now she's going to want us to take off the bottom uh, and redo that the way that we did the top. So I got myself into that now. Put them together with the, uh, the beads together with the meat. Mm -hmm. Put in a little bit of onions, garlic, a little bit of salt, whatever you like. Put in maybe two hours, like a real low. Oh, let it simmer? Yeah. My mom made this soup that had chicken and beans and other stuff in it. Uh -huh. And I normally don't like beans, but I ate all the beans in the soup. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, that's good. Make me fart really bad the next day. <laughs> because you know, in the restaurants, and uh, you know, you because you, you have in your your favorite restaurant, right? See. Si. Always, you, like you want asking the same food. Yeah, all know. the time. Yeah. So there's no. Like the other day, I just make a chorizo. With eggs and, Ooh, nice. and yeah, With chorizo, papas, papas. I like chorizo. That's the uh, like the little spicy sausage, right? Yeah, second. Okay. And uh, Wednesday, this Wednesday pass, I cook in uh, chuletas. 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 You know the, the, the like a rib, uh, pork rib? See. Si. Uh, we call it like it, a la Mexicana. So you put in uh, tomatoes, red tomatoes, mm -hmm. 
Añas, Agrín, Jalapeño, and they good. Good, good. Jalapeño. I don't usually like onions and all that stuff, but I'm slowly getting better. Oh, you don't like it? It's the texture. I like the taste. You don't like the taste? Uh, not the flavor, you know, the uh -huh, uh -huh. like how it feels. I don't know. You gotta eat a lot of garlic too. Eat a lot of garlic. I like garlic. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah that I like garlic. That how you to, uh, to use to, for your little dish? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we need it. Maybe another 15 bags, my friend. Yeah, I mean, we gotta do the other side too. Yeah, because uh, that's here. Maybe 20. Yeah, let's say 15. Because what happened if you're not using them all, right? Oh, maybe 20, because we're gonna use them over there. And the big shelves right here. And what if we buy 15 and go back to get more and they say next week? No, no, no. Yeah. May as well just have your mom call him and say hold 20 for us. Because uh, clearly, there's more people on the seat though, bro, than just Mary. Clearly. The way homie made it sound, it was like. It's Seashell City right that's now. That's what he was saying. He used it all like, at the which bay. Which company are you with? Because I've had a couple different people coming in here for a Seashell drop now. Should have slipped in 20 bucks and said, buddy, take it off the other person's order. Yeah, tell him that he get lost. Tell him that somehow I just didn't show up. I should have been like, yeah, this, that's me. I called by the two bags. <laughs> Alrighty. So we have officially ran out of grout. Ethan went to go get more grout first thing this morning and they don't have any more until Tuesday of next week so we are done grouting for the day we're gonna clean some stuff up and then head on out of here I gotta pick up all these shells and put them on the cart and put them back because I don't want anything blowing around this weekend she wants to do this too, but with glue. That's what he say. Put all the shells in there. So what's next? Nothing. Nothing? Early Friday. Okay. No more drop. Easy Friday. Easy Friday. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista, patron. Good job, Freddy. Yep.